welcome back to another Star Made Logic tutorial. My name is Bench and today we're doing gravity lifts. Uh, this is a basic setup. You can see there if I open the door here, it's just a pipe going up. There's nothing fancy there except for this little section on the top and I'll explain that in a moment. Um, but it's just a tube going down. This is a single floor gravity lift. It'll work on ships as well as stations. And uh, it's uh, based off some of the stuff uh, the Mushroom Fleet guys were doing. Um, but we've modified it a bit more as well to make it a bit easier to work with for the length that you're building. Um, so we're going to need uh, a few basic components. We're going to need a place where we launch from from the ground floor. Uh, this it actually isn't a tube, like you don't need to step into an elevator. It basically sends you up through the roof. Think uh, the gold rings in Stargate. And we get shot up here, and then what we've got is we've got another plexi door area on the floor, and then we've got this section on the roof, which is just going to reset gravity to the gravity that we want. Um, so first what we'll do is we'll set up our area triggers, so we'll drop an area trigger there, and I'll go ahead and grab my trigger area, and with that trigger area controller selected, you can see we start dropping these in. And we just fill up this area. I mean, this section can be as big or as small as you like. Um, and then that's that can have a activation module go next to it. And that activation module, if I grab my gravity module now, I can drop the gravity module next to it and hook it up to that. So you can see activation module needs to sit next to the area trigger controller. And then that is connected to our gravity module where it says top. So people will fall down back onto the floor. Here what we'll do is we'll just chuck an activation module there. That'll be our button to go down. We'll chuck that here as well. As soon as I get there. And then what we'll do is we'll chuck down another area trigger. And we'll do the area trigger for in here. So it goes on the top of this section here. So it goes right on top of the door. And we'll do three layers. Uh, the reason why I don't just go straight down is the way that we'll set it up um, will mean that it gets triggered. Uh, or it's triggering the same thing the button's going to trigger, but if the two things try to trigger, they'll cancel each other out. Or they can do anyway. Um, or flying through this, if it's too high, you'll get a double trigger and it'll cancel itself out. So... It's just easier just to fill that area of where we want things to start triggering from. Uh, it'll make a lot more sense in a moment. What we'll do, chuck the activation module under that, and we'll fly up to the top and we'll do another one for the top. So now area triggers sit inside the tunnel. And this setup only needs three. Uh, the good, the good reason, um, good benefit of doing it this way is you don't need to try and run long uh, cables to time opening of doors. Our area triggers will do all that for us. And it also means that you can use permission modules as well to control that sort of access as well. So there we go. So now what we can do is start hooking stuff up. We'll grab this activation module. So we'll do the bottom floor bottom floor is easy, we grab a gravity lift, uh, gravity module and spin it upside down so the gravity points up and our activation modules hook straight into that and then still connected to the activation module we're going to drop down a delay and an or we'll then select the delay and put a knot into that and then this knot will go into both the and and the or and then we'll select the OR, put a knot into that, and then select that knot, and that'll go into an OR, and the AND will go into that. And so if we flip this, you'll see, if we flip it a couple times, we start getting it. And this is basically a refined version of uh, the flipper switch sort of thing back in a couple of episodes ago. So you can see that's just basically putting a pulse out. One thing we want to do is send this up here into an activation module. And then that activation module can go... Uh, sorry, not an activation module. It's a delay. can go into the OR. 
and an ore will go into a knot, and the knot um, we'll send, we'll keep there for now. So same deal with this one, we'll grab the activation module and we'll send it into a delay, to an and and into an or. This delay then goes into a knot, which goes into those two, and then an or goes into the delay, and then we'll have our output here, like that and that. And one thing we might do here is also put that into a delay as well. And hook both those up like whoop, like so. So we get a little bit longer opening through this. So you can see there. And we should see here as well. Yep. Now we can grab this knot. And if holding shift and pushing V onto the door, you'll see we've hooked it up like that. So now there's a little bit of a delay. And then that's opening. And then if we hit to if we hit the activation module there, you see open straight away, but it's open for a little longer. Which is what we want. Now we'll fly up here. And it's basically the same setup, so we'll grab this activation module down here. We do the delay and and the or, like so. Grab the delay, put it into a knot. Knot goes into both of those. The or also goes into the knot. And then those, that. And that go into that or. You can see we got our flashing going on, which is what we want. And the same deal with this. We might send that just into a delay as well, and we'll hook both of those up to our OR, which will go into our knot. And it's the same setup. You know, it's going to hook up to our door. So in this case, we want a little bit of time for you to fall. Um, and then we'll grab this activation module, last one, and we'll go delay and OR. Delay goes into the knot, which goes into these two. That goes into a knot as well. And then that. And that goes into an OR. And what we can do is put that into the OR there. And if we toggle through these, we should see that lights up. If we toggle through these, we should see that lights up as well. Now we'll grab this knot here, and holding shift V again, select the door, and then we should see when we push this, stays open for a bit, and then it does what it needs to do. And that's really all that we need to do for this setup. If we jump out of build mode, well, where have I fallen? There we go. See, there's our setup there, we'll push the button, we'll fall, door opens, fall again, hit there, hit the top and fall onto a plate. Um, so hitting the top there hits that area uh, trigger which triggers the gravity module and you'll see we fall again, head to the bottom and we fall straight through, door closes above us doing exactly what we want which is great. You'll see we don't need to do any triggers uh, changing of a button, the button's just however it wants to go like that which is sweet. So there's how to build that yeah, so that's the so that's the gravity lift. I hope that makes sense to you guys. Until next time, my name is Bench, and thanks for watching.